What's up guys and welcome back to Need for Speed Heat. We're here in the showroom about to purchase our new vehicle and uh, I think it's going to be pretty sick, dude. I'm excited for this episode. This is a 2018 Mercedes-Benz C63 AMG. So uh, I really like these things, man. I think this is, is just kind of a perfect balance of performance and luxury and just a well put together vehicle. It's going to cost us $89,000 and we're going to be starting off at a level 210, which is honestly pretty solid. We've got a 6 out of 10 customization rating. So we are really going to be able to uh, to, to do some work with this thing, I think. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, the new 2020 C63s are just absolutely beautiful. I mean, obviously this thing is, is not too far off. The interiors are just insane, dude. The technology that's in these things and like, listen to that V8 purr, you know what I mean? Like this, this thing is gonna be a monster and uh, we're gonna have a lot of fun today. So after some choice upgrades, we are up to a level 325. We've got over 700 horsepower, a zero to 60 in 2.8 seconds and a top speed nearing 330 miles an hour. Dude, this thing is gonna be a monster and it's not even maxed out. Like it's, it's still gonna be super, super fast. But more importantly, we are gonna hop into customization here. This is what I'm really, really excited for. So I already kind of have an idea in mind. But let's check out what we've got. So we've got some yellow stripes here. I mean, this color here is not too bad. Uh, this is more in line with what I'm looking at. I really, I, th I think I would have murder it out. I think I would have go matte black. I mean, that has the, the red accents on there, which aren't bad. Uh, but ooh, actually, you know what? With the right body kit, that might look pretty good. I was just going to go with a straight matte black, but I'm not against having a, a couple of nice little, little red accents. This is Tiger Nike. Bro, what? What are you thinking? That is awful. We've got kind of like a, a matte teal metallic there. Kind of a matte metallic. It's got like a sheen to it. I don't know if you can have matte and metallic. We've got a Nardo gray here, which, ooh, that's actually a really beautiful color. Even the gold doesn't look too bad. Ooh, here's a, a matte black and optic green. Oh, that's carbon fiber black. Or we could just go all fully murdered out, blacked out, nothing to show. That's kind of... That's kind of what I'm tempted to do. I I think I'm gonna go with that. All right, so moving on to uh, to some of our body options here. This is where it should get interesting. Ooh, we've got a prior design kit, dude. Prior design makes some of the best kits in the business. That's pretty nice too, though. How crazy, dude. We literally just did the Z4 and had that same hood. Let me see, uh, I mean, let's, let's check our grill here. We can kind of black that out. We're definitely gonna go ahead and go with that. Let's see what we've got for a front bumper. Obviously, the prior design bumper we're going to go with here. Uh, and then we've got our got our splitters. Ooh, that's pretty nice right there. I mean, none of these look bad. I think I'm going to go... I'm going to go with that... Ooh, shoot, no. I'm going to go with the... Eh. Which one do we like more? I guess the prior design looks a little bit better. All right, so I'm, I'm cool with that. We can throw some... Some canards on here if we want them. I'll go for some little ones. I mean, it's this thing's so black you can't really see them. Smoke out the headlights, of course. Dude, this thing is going to be so gnarly. Ugh, I'm excited. So we've got the wide body prior design, or we've got the Speed Hunters wide body. I guess let's just stick with the prior design kit. Everything's going to look nice. It's going to go together. These guys know what they're doing. The prior design GTR wide body kit is honestly goals it's it's so nice I'm, if i was ever going to put a body kit on mine i think that would be it but um yeah we're just we're going to go prior design all throughout we're going to make it all match it's going to make it easy for us i wish we could could are, they, are those chrome i was going to say i wish we could black out the yeah they're chrome the door handles and the window trim if we could black all that out dude that'd be so that'd be so nasty so we're going to put the uh, the canards in the back back here hopefully that's not going to affect our rear bumper i could still put the prior design bumper on there do we have a prior design splitter down here? A diffuser, I mean? Looks like we are going to have one. But honestly, I kind of like the Mercedes-Benz one a little bit better. Um, what do you guys think? Yeah, it's got more carbon fiber in it. I feel like that makes a little bit more sense. So we've got that there. Should we change up our exhaust a little bit? Nah, we can leave it as is. All right, looking pretty good. Of course, we're going to want to make sure we smoke out these tail lights all the way. Dude. This thing is insane so far. Gonna go with uh, M M U R D R for our license plate. That's just a little a little concerning. I'm gonna throw this one on there, and then we should probably change up the background. Do we have anything that's just straight white and black? 
I guess the red actually looks pretty good because it matches all the, uh, the, the you know, taillights and, and stuff like that. So we've got all that there. Spoiler, we could go with the prior design spoiler, which honestly I usually like DuckTales, but that's ugly. That's a little bit better. Or we can go with something a little bit bigger. Ooh, see like that Voltex right there I feel like looks pretty nice. Or we could go with something outrageous. Honestly, I don't even know that we need a spoiler though. To be honest, the ducktail kind of looks the best, but it doesn't really match the 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 blacked out look. Some of these spoilers I just feel like are a little bit crazy, but I guess I guess we could go. There's just so much space there, you know what I mean? Like it it's a little ridiculous, but we're <laughs> we're we're gonna rock it. All right, have we done uh, have we done everything? Obviously, we want to smoke out the windows here. We've got that. Looks like we can do something with the roof. We could add a, a second wing. Why not, bro? More downforce, more speed, right? That's how it works. Or I guess more cornering would be a, uh, a better way of doing things. All right, so for the rims, we are definitely going to change up the, the rims and, and kind of black these things out, make them look pretty good. But first, we are going to be going for the, uh, the red Brembos for sure, the big red Brembos because that's going to match everything else. I kind of like the Mercedes AMG rims as they are right now, but I feel like we might be able to do a little bit better. There's the ones that have yeah, something with a little bit of red in the middle I feel like is going to look pretty good. Uh, we could even go for the red lip ones and black those out, but that might be trying a little bit hard. Something like this is what I was thinking of. The Vorsteiner VSM 313s. Just kidding, I like these better. The HRA P200s. Yeah, those, those are going to be sick. Dude, this thing is so clean. Like, I, I love how this turned out. And obviously, it's really basic. Like, we just pretty much threw black on everything we possibly could and added a couple of little red accents. But this looks so nice. Interesting enough, the, the darkest black that I could find for, like, our body color and the rim color is chrome black with a matte finish. I have no clue how you would ever make that, but that ends up making it a darker black than just like the straight up normal black gloss paint. So, uh, I mean, this thing looks sick. I love it. I, I wish we could kind of polish those tires a little bit. You know, when they're wet and nice and polished, they're a little bit darker. I feel like that's the, the most eye-catching thing on this car. Like everything else kind of like fades together and it just looks like this big nighttime beast. But those tires kind of stick out a little bit, which I don't really love. But there's nothing we could do about that. I even tried putting white walls on it to see if that looked good. It it didn't. It didn't really. But, uh, dude, this thing looks... Look at that angle right there. It looks so mean. I love it. So let's get this thing out in the road. And let's see what she can do. We are just going to hop right into it, dude. This is easily one of the cleanest builds that we have made in the past, like, 60 or so episodes. There's no doubt about that. I mean, it's easy, though. You know what I mean? Like... You see blacked out vehicles all the time. They always look good. There's a reason why people do it because it's simple, it's fresh, it's clean. It's not unique, but it looks good. And this thing, it just, it, it looks absolutely immaculate. How are we doing here? We got a long straight. Let me just go ahead and rip my red nitrous. See what we've, uh, what we've got going on. We've got the, the five three pound tanks, which isn't quite as exciting, but we can just blow through them all as we wish. Try to hopefully keep up with these guys here. This should be a fairly challenging race. But, um, yeah, man, we could literally every vehicle in this game, we could just turn everything black and it'd look great. You know what I mean? Like, there, there's not a, a single vehicle in this game that wouldn't look good. So, uh, I, I typically try not to do this just because it's so average and so typical. Like, it, again, there's a reason why you see so many cars like this. But, dude, this thing, it just... I had to go for it. I wanted to go for it. I feel like it it fit pretty well, so we'll uh, we'll see what we can do. Ooh, she kind of likes getting sideways. It's a little surprising. The one thing I wish we could do, like I said, I wish we could chrome delete the uh, the door handles and the, the trim around the windows. I do feel like that kills the look a little bit. Maybe the exhaust tips. Black out that Mercedes emblem in the back. Like if you could get down to that level of detail, that'd be pretty sick. Unfortunately, that's just not possible, but she still looks pretty good. And she's, uh, she's very obviously pretty fast. Oh, shoot. Okay. We're gonna have to focus up here, bro. 
We're still close to this guy behind us. We're admiring our car so much that we're not paying attention to the road. And we were doing a little bit of off-roading, so let's... Oh, man. He's starting to pull off on us a little bit. I'm, I'm down for a little challenge. Come on, baby. Get us up there. We're going to catch back up here. So we're going to top speed of, uh, of 230, like we mentioned before. Ooh, should we try to... That would have been a fairly good gas station to hit, but to be honest, I think we would have gone through so many barricades, it could have ended up being bad for us. See, he's going through barricades right now. That's slowing him down. I don't know what you're doing, bro. You aren't a snowplow. Can't just go plowing through stuff like that. Whew. We're good. This thing's honest. Like, it, it sounds pretty mean. When you, when you first start accelerating, you're hitting those high RPMs and stuff. But to be honest, this thing is... It's kind of quiet. And that's what I, I said when we started this. Like this, I feel like this is such a well-balanced machine. It's fast, it's aggressive, it's crazy, but at the same time, it's comfortable, it's luxurious, and obviously you could, could daily drive it. Come around here, beautiful work. Hit our nitrous on the exit, feeling pretty good about this so far. I, kinda, I thought we put the 15 pound tank of nitrous on there. I guess we didn't. Definitely would have been a uh, a bit more exciting. Dude, our, our wing is just ridiculous. <laughs> it's, I don't know why it's so tall. It's, it's almost, is that, I think it is taller than the roof of the car. I guess it gets more wind coming its way, AKA more downforce, we'll take it. But yeah, dude, this thing is, uh, this thing is, is pretty immaculate. It's looking like we're going to be able to come away with a clean win. Kind of got a little bit a little bit scary there at the start, but from here on out, it's kind of been a leisurely cruise through the countryside. Let's see what happens. We've got a bit of a turn coming up here. Whew, I was wondering if we are going to be able to dig in and make that corner. We could not. But that's all right, man. We are so far ahead of the competition here. I don't think there's anything we can do to mess this up. So... Solid first race. Kind of feel like we might need a, a a bit more of a challenge in the second one. I mean, to be honest, like level wise, we're in a good spot. I don't know why we're we're so much faster, but I'll see you guys in race number two. Here we go, baby. Race number two. Let's see if we can get a little bit more competition this time around. That last one was kind of all straight, so I think our our top speed that we've upgraded to kind of gave us a bit of an advantage, but. Uh, this one should... It's, it's still kind of a lot of straights. We've got some corners and stuff mixed in, but... It should be a little bit tougher because we definitely have tougher competition here. We went for a higher level race. If anything, we're a little bit under leveled, so we'll see how we can do, dude. First place is all the way up there. All right. It's going to blow through all of our, our nitrous off the rip. Try to get to... Uh, a good a place as we possibly can. Try to keep it on the road. What's up, Mr. Gallardo? He didn't he didn't like that, huh? We're good. Bit of a battle for second here. And here we are. Mercedes on Mercedes here. Let's, uh, let's see if we can make this corner. We're good. Alright. Got kind of a three-way battle for first. This should be interesting. Both these guys in the lime green cars. But we're coming for blood, baby. <sighs> Whew. Not bad. I do kind of... This thing feels a little heavy. I I, it just... It, you know what I mean? Like, two-door two coupe, I feel like it should... It should feel a little lighter. I don't know. It's odd. Maybe it's because we didn't fully upgrade our, our acceleration, but it just... It feels, it feels like it's a big vehicle. Which, I, these kind of are big vehicles. We've got a big old V8 in here. It's not like this is a spring chicken. So, I don't know. I'd like to, like to see it feel a little more nimble. We do have, like, really good tires and everything on it, though, so I... I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Cruising at 156 straight up this hill. We're all pretty much going the same speed, so it honestly feels like we're going kind of slow. Here we go. Around the Mercedes. Beautiful. And now we've got the Gallardo to beat. Germany versus Italy. Let's see what we can do. About to start World War Four. 
since World War III is already on its way. Here we go. Woo, got him. Beautiful. Good execution there. I've been trying to save up some of our nitrous. Probably use one coming down this hill here. We've got some corners coming up, so... Especially towards the end of this race, I want to make sure we've got plenty of nitrous to be able to... To battle against that, that weight that I'm feeling. Woo. Bit of a fishtail there. We're good, though. Here we go. Let's start using some nitrous down the hills. Try to keep our... Keep our momentum up. Oh, this is good work, dude. I'm really excited to get this thing into the nighttime in our next race. Gonna look like we've got the Batmobile or something. Oh, shoot. We've got a gas station up ahead. We could probably end up hitting that if we wanted to refresh all of our nitrous, but I also don't know that it's gonna be necessary. That was a nice corner right there, dude. We made, uh... Made full use of that bad boy. All right, we are 80% of the way there. I'm pretty sure we can stay in either lane to be able to finish this out if my memory serves me correctly. And it looks like, for whatever reason, we're just like, at the end of these races, we're just pulling ahead. It's making it too easy on us. Go ahead and cross over into our correct lane, and we've got 10% to go. I'm hoping we get a little bit better competition in the uh, in the nighttime races. We were like, I, I think we were two levels ahead of the last race, and I think we're like seven levels behind this race. Neither one of them posed even close to a threat, so we'll see what happens in the night. Here we go, baby. The beast is about to come alive. I can't wait to see these red neons. Ugh. This thing looks so sick, dude. Are you kidding me? You can't see anything on it. It's all black. This is great. It, that's like darker than dark. I, we talked about it before in the series. You guys remember when I, I mentioned the, the Vanta black on that X6? The real life color? This kind of looks like it. So you got to go for a, a, again, I don't know how this works, but a chrome matte black is the key. Dude, This th it looks like a hole in the simulation. And again, pretty much you could just see the chrome trim and the tires. All right, here we go. Our final race of the night. Let's see what this thing can do. We're a little under leveled, but uh, it's not like that stopped us yet. So here we go. Let's get straight into the race. Let's get it, baby. Ooh, look at that GTR right there. What's up, man? I'm gonna go ahead and pull through here. Oh, that gray R8 in front of us. That thing looks pretty nice too. I definitely, like from a, a vehicle standpoint, we definitely have a, a bit more competition here. Obviously, the it's kind of a hard hit on him. Obviously, the, the introduction of the traffic could be a good thing, could be a bad thing. If we're able to really make this thing work for us, then it's going to be a good thing. But if we can't control it and we run into anybody, it's going to be a bad thing. So, we'll, uh, we'll see what we can do here. Go ahead and pass Lucky there. Looks like we've got some cops behind us. Come on, baby. Let's get up there. Let's get up there. We got a long straight through here. Oh my gosh, we just two-wheeled it. Dude, that was insane. We're good. All right, I'm going to make sure we stay towards... Uh, I'm going to cheat towards the outside. Towards the shoulder of the road. You come around some of these and you just have no clue what to expect. Hopefully that leaves a little... A little road mine for those guys behind us. I'll have to either dodge it or run into it. Beautiful work so far. The one thing is, is it, it, we've mentioned this before, when you kind of have cars that aren't ridiculous, it does, like, the, the handling feels better. You have more time to react. You can kind of, like, I, I feel like we're, we're finessing this thing a bit more, which is nice, but it is still kind of heavy. I don't know. It's it's weird. It's a weird feeling. I don't know if you guys can experience that. Ooh, let's, let's grab some nitrous. Yes, please. Did we miss the checkpoint? No, it gave it to us. Woo, that could have been bad right there, fellas. It's gonna be worth it though. We got all five nitruses. I'm gonna I'm gonna save I'm gonna save a couple. We'll use those and then we're gonna ride that out. Second place is still pretty close behind us. But yeah, just I don't know. Hopefully it, it translates in the video and you guys can tell what I mean. It just it, it feels she's kind of a thick girl. Doesn't mean she doesn't need love. But she is a little bit a little bit thick. Go, baby. 
Got a nice long straight here. I do feel like second place is starting to catch up to us a little bit, but we're not gonna not gonna concern ourselves with what's happening behind us. We're just gonna keep pushing forward, see what we've got. Long straight to the finish, baby. Pretty much just make sure that we don't run into anybody. We could have tried to finesse that gas station back there. I don't think it would have been worth it. Just don't hit any of the, the fences or the barricades or anything. Don't hit any of the, the drivers. And bada bing, bada boom, that's how you win a race, baby. All right, there we have it. So that is the Mercedes C63. Technically, we already used this thing back in the day. We had a free one from our pre-order bonus we used in the uh, the actual campaign, but uh, I, I wanted to see what we could do with this thing, and I, I feel like we made uh, made a bit of a gem. Not the best handling car in the game, but definitely one of the better looking ones, dude. Look at that. Like, how can you not appreciate that? So, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to see you guys in our next episode. Let me know which vehicle you guys want to see here on the channel next, and uh, I'll catch you all later. Peace out.